So welcome to this video all about time capsules. It's a really great thing to do at the start of every home ed year. It's a tradition in our family for not back to school week. Join us in this video where we showcase the resource, give you some ideas about how you can use it and stay tuned to see us dig up our time capsule from last year. You don't want to miss it. Hello and welcome to Not Back to School Week and I am really excited to share with you an activity that we have done every year since we started home educating. So we've been officially home educating for four years and every year in September we talk about what we wish for the year, all the new things that we feel like we would like to try for the year, which often throws up some really strange ones. So uh, for example, my daughter's decided that she really wants to learn how to play golf. It may be something that you have never heard your child say that they're quite interested in doing. So it's a really good opportunity to have a discussion as a family of your hopes and wishes for the year. I'm just gonna put up here what the time capsule sheet looks like. And it's a really lovely resource. It has been redesigned this year for home edders and it has a nice spot in it for you to draw a self picture of yourself and also for you to write your uh, best handwriting. And we now obviously have four of these and it's really great to compare how children are getting on with their writing and see how their hopes and wishes and their drawing changes over the course of those years. And if you have reluctant writers like I do, you can help them with their writing um, and just get them to try their best with the part that asks them to do their best handwriting. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight as to what the time capsule is all about. So we're outside and we are ready to dig up our time capsule from last year. It's an exciting time because none of us can remember anything that we wrote on it. Even though last year we sat and thought really carefully about all our hopes and dreams for last year. We've completed the end of year sheet that's also in the time capsule resource where we've reviewed our year. We've talked about all of the words that describe our year, all the things that we've enjoyed, everything that we've had fun doing. And now we're going to dig our time capsule up and we're going to compare them. So it's really, really exciting. So come and join us. Come on the diggers. Come on the diggers. Yay! We found it! So we've unwrapped our time capsules. We have three here because we did one for the dog. Um, and it's really lovely to have a little bit of a look over what it was that we thought we might enjoy, what we thought we might do, um, and what we wanted to get better at. So for our dog, it was about going for muddy walks. Um, I think she definitely enjoyed that this year. Um, for my son, these were the things that um, he thought he might do for the first time this year and what he would like to get better at. And it's really, really lovely to compare them to the end of year time capsule. So when you get to the end of the year and you dig up your time capsule, there is this review sheet where you think about what you enjoyed um, and what you did do for the first time this year. And it's lovely to compare it uh, to what you thought you might do and what you wanted to get better at. And this is then my daughter's um, and the things that she wanted to do. What we did with all of these as well is we added to the back activities that they would like to do. So my daughter said, go on a train, go to the beach, play with my toys, do a cooking class. So all of the things that they wanted to do um, for the year that we've just had. And this is a really good way of kind of coming up with some plans for the future year ahead. And then this is what she did when she did her end of year time capsule. And I think you can really see the difference in the handwriting and also the difference in her drawing. This is a, her drawing her um, snuggling with her teddies and this is what she drew last year. So it's a really, really lovely way to end the year and look at how far you've come, but also to think about setting your goals and your wishes and your dreams for the future year. It's perfect for not back to school week. We've dug up our time capsules and compared them to last year and now it's time to write our new ones. Come and join us. really 
really useful. So I'll add in the description box a link to the time capsule resource for you to download off of the Twinkle website. Just a little bit of information about how to bury your time capsule. Please make sure that you double bag it. So you bag the actual writing and you also put it in a screw top lid and then I would recommend you bagging and taping over that. Remember also to draw yourself a little map about where you bury it because we buried ours in the garden last year and then we totally forgot where we had actually buried it and it took us a long time to locate it for this year. So do draw yourself a really handy map so that you know exactly where you have to find your time capsule. Most of all it's about just having fun and it's just a really great start for not back to school week to discuss all those hopes and dreams and wishes that you have and it really starts my children's enthusiasm for the new year ahead and all the adventures that we're going to have. I hope that this video has been useful and I'll see you soon. Bye!